Welcome back to Gaming Assembled, today's part 10 of our Madeira campaign. Thank you for joining us. Before we start, we'd love to hear from you. So like, comment and subscribe to the channel and interact with us on social media. And thank you to Lord Vice and Lord Necro for commenting already. Let's get started. Okay, so let's jump back into the game. So, welcome back to Madeira and uh, the... Uh, Kingdom of Maghreb, I suppose, well, the High Mense or Maghreb, really, but yes, whatever. And uh, you'll notice that uh, off camera, I've given our our queen, uh, as she is now. Uh, last time we seized the kingdom, but I've given her uh, a new outfit. I figured that for someone who is very much focused on uh, building fortunes and, and gaining lots of money. Uh, she'd want to dress a little bit nicer, I think, from a, a role play perspective. So we're given her a new look uh, to to help start her off on her new uh, job as queen. And uh, as we jump back in, um, we I think we've got a little bit of vassal management to do in a way. I think we did. Um, yes, I think we did. I think we had too many. We have too many duchies, I think. Um, yes, it is. So we've got, we've not got much in the way of land ourselves. We've only got our, our starting island in terms of actual counties, but we actually hold three duchies as well as the kingdom, of course. And so that will be having a negative impact if we just pick a random vassal. Uh, that, yes, there you go. Too many duchies held. So that will be not helping. So we will look at that just very quickly before we start. So the ones we've got, I believe, are... Here we go, we've got that one. We've got the main one of Fez. And the one that is our original islands. So we're going to have to do a little bit of work at trying to get hold of a little bit more land uh, for us to keep ourselves. But... In the meantime, we want to try and at least hand off one of these. Um, so I'm thinking that we perhaps just give this one away. Um, let's see. So we've got... She holds those two, and she just holds... Our other half-sister holds just that one. So what I'm thinking is I probably... I mean, she hates us because we took the title off her in the first place, I think. Um, is that what we did? I can't remember. Maybe it was that one. Was it that one? Uh, let's see. Declared war. Yes. So I think I think it was that sister. I think who we we dethroned, but I can't remember. Um, so I don't I can't see any sort of war ones on there. So I think since she's got two. Counties, I think we'll give her that title. There we go. She's more likely to be able to hold it. And so she now likes us a little bit better. Um, we need to work a little bit more on these things. But we'll get there. So, first thing to jump into is to look at carrying on this war that we've inherited. We are at war. It's a holy war for the Emirate of Su which is this one here, of course. So we've already got our troops raised, so we're simply going to march down here and carry on. Well, what's this? Disloyal vassal. I am poring over the ledgers that detail my income from vassals. These, uh, these numbers do not add up, something we know a lot about, being as we are. The aloof Koran Ayazos, uh, our nephew, basically, uh, has me for a fool and has been paying me too little. So Karen must pay his due. So uh, that's the first one. That's Now we've got less of a chance of getting all of the money that way. I'm keeping on a short leaf and leash from now on so he increases his feudal taxes to us. Or who hasn't tried to line his own pockets and he becomes my friend. Now, this will be a big decision because he 
is obviously well, it's not perhaps as quite as big as I was thinking. I was thinking he owned more land than he does. He owns that county there. So he doesn't like us very much though, but that's because he wants a seat on the council. We hold his duchy title, so the council of county of Fez, the uh, duchy of Fez even. Um, so what shall we do? We've got lots of sort of single, we've managed to successfully divide our realm up quite a bit between various people. What would our character do? So I think it needs to be something where we're going to get some money because that's what she's like as a person. So I don't think we'll do the bottom one. And I think we look at that one, which means he'll like us a bit less, but he already hates us anyway. And we, so, and I think that's the one we'll do. So, okay, we're heading down here, we're going to go and see if we can force a fight. No, we missed them. Where are they going? Let's go here. Let's just see where they go. So they're just coming straight back up. So we'll force a fight and try and catch them. There we go. Excellent. The enemy banner. Excellent. That's good. That'll make uh, a nice addition to our, our wall. So that would give us some more dread, allow us to have an, um, another knight, and uh, increase our court grandeur. So the Battle of Nafis ended in, the, in an astounding victory. I am eager to listen to the messenger as he reads the report from my commander, and then turn to the soldiers uh, before me. My lady, we cowered, uh, sorry, we cornered even, the remaining enemies as they made a, a valiant stand. They made, they gave their lives protecting this banner. We'll make a fine addition to my collection. I'll put it on the pyre. Um, well, she's vengeful. I think she'd want to lord it over them. I think, yes, we keep it. So, let's see. Let's go down, back down here. Let's see if we can recapture these lands. We'll go back up and hit them again in a second. There we go. Lovely. And then we'll see if we can capture the actual war goal. That would be good. So. Uh, I've arrived in Madeira to pay homage to you. Uh, okay, brilliant. So, show her in at once. <coughs> I wait patiently on my throne for the arrival of Men Menciata. Can I'm rubbish with these names, I'm sorry. Kehana, uh, who is soon announced and ushered before me. She kneels in deference as attendants bring forth the gifts of coin and precious objects. The oath is taken and scribes record her pledges to serve High Mencio of Maghreb. At last I bid the Menciata arise, confirming my satisfaction and Kanana's Kain rights to the lands she rules in my stead. And so I get some court grandeur, some prestige and some gold and the dynasty gets some renown, which is brilliant. So, uh, corresponding with the Chancellor, we've seen a new light. Who are you? Neighbouring ruler. So you are way over here. Brilliant. Nice to have a friend. So, let's see if we... Are we actually besieging this? Where, where's, where is actually the war goal? Emirative soon. Do we get the whole thing? Well. Or is it just that piece? I think it's just that piece, isn't it? It's just the way it's labelled. So let's go down here and try and besiege this down. Hopefully this will be the majority of the war goal. Let's just have a quick look at this. Um, we'll keep going down this one. Vassals are less likely to join independence factions. That's always good. That'll help us a lot. Let's have a look at the factions. Faction to install Yaya. Yeah, on the Maghreb throne. Who's that? So he's a, re a relative of the dethroned um, Sultan, so our previous liege. He has no lands, he's just got claims and his father 
I think it's his, is it his father. I don't know. Um, declared war rival. I don't know. Uh, it could be his father. I think it might be the the previous sultan is supporting him. Um, so fair enough. I think it is. Yes. Um, so yes, the previous one is supporting him, but they've not got a lot of power. Uh, faction to install her on the Maghreb throne. Now these are a bit more of a threat. Let's just have a quick look at these. So this is my daughter. I want to install my daughter on the throne. Okay. Is she my heir anyway? No. This is my younger daughter. My, uh, okay. So, that's a bit odd. <laughs> So it's a faction to install my daughter on the throne and the elder daughter who is set to inherit the, the titles is supporting her sister in taking what she would otherwise claim. That seems a bit a bit weird to me, but um, let's see what, what, if we can do anything about this. So who is supporting them? So our nephew who we've just annoyed a little bit more is supporting them. So that's less than less than good. Um, our heir is supporting them, which, as I say, makes no sense to me whatsoever. And another nephew is supporting them as well. So the one that holds those lands. So this might be an opportunity, if I can do it, if I can manage to sort this out, to claim back these lands. That would be very useful. Um... However, it's going to be a bit of an interesting one. Um, how do we do it? Because the problem is, is that they're all family. Uh, so, can I do anything about this? Um, so, I'm not sure. Because it's not like I can put them into... Uh, you know, a marriage alliance or something like that, because obviously they're my, most of them, the people supporting are my character's children, which is rather problematic. Um, so we might just have to try and keep a good bit of cash, and we might have to just do it the hard way and fight them when it comes to it. It's this this guy, isn't it? Um... I mean, the only other thing I can think of to do would be to try and get a uh, an alliance with him, but try and get him into a faction. But I don't know if it'll work. You know, so, sorry, try and get him out of the faction through what that means, but I don't know if it'll work. Let's see if this helps. We can get him out of it at least. That says exotic arms, along with their strange goods, merchants bring tall tales from distant lands, uh, unverifiable, full of wonder. Uh, a group of butir peddlers uh, purport to have brought Estonian objects, said to have come from the faraway court of a great ruler, King Vilivald of Estonia, no less. Very good. Um... Kukung, the, lead, uh, the leading trader, grins darkly. Uh, this unique armor could be yours for a special price, of course. Okay, well, do we need any armor? Have we got any armor? Do we wear any armor? Wrong one. Wrong button to press. It is that one. That's the one we want. We haven't got any armor. Well, how much are we talking about? 75. Now... Given what we've just been talking about, we might need some mercenaries to help us. I might just leave it for now, because I think we're going to need all the money we can get. Now, does that get rid of him out of the faction? Um, I think the answer to that is no, it doesn't. Lovely. So, what's this? Um... Actively supporting current right and his faction to install. Yeah, okay. 
However, my husband has a plan to change that. Trust me, the things I could tell Corin uh, Guerrero, yeah, would make him disavow Eose in an instant. Okay. Um, right, so let's do that then. Cannot join a faction for 20 years. Brilliant. Okay, do that. So they've lost a member of their faction, which takes them down to 74%, which is probably still enough to do me some harm. But I'll go from there. Oh, I could negotiate an alliance with my heir, my daughter. That will take her out of it. There we go. Can I do anything about her? Do I have a hook? No, I don't. Okay, well, I'll we'll have to just... Oh, I can get an alliance with him. Brilliant. That takes him out of it, and that's pretty much the faction dissolved. Excellent. What's this? Um, I remember the day when my son, <coughs> Massenson, was born. My benign son. Not sure that's the best description, is it? Benign? Um, memories like uh, these bring me comfort. No matter what happens, I know that my family is there for me. And that house, Tejulair, stands strong. Son of the ox, I whispered under my breath. Okay, I will treasure the thought. I lose some stress, or I could give him a gift for his loyalty. Well, we like to keep money, so we'll just we'll just think it's cheaper. Um, right, where's my troops gone? We're almost, we're almost seized this down. Brilliant. Action should be pretty much gone. Um, yeah, it's down to 23%. Should be all good. We've won the war. Let's do that. So we've now just taken a little bit more land. What did we take? Did we take that? I don't know what we took. I really don't know what that war did. We didn't seem to take anything. But we do seem to have some targets that are possibles for us. So this guy, where is this guy? He's down there. So we could look at trying to take on this guy. Um, let's see, I could simply subjugate him, I could take it county by county, that might be better in the long run. I could take the whole thing though, but I'll need a little bit more prestige. So, hmm, just subjugating him would probably, I mean, it'll get me my, my realm a bit faster. Ooh, and I get all that as well. Oh, that might actually be worth it. I know I'm going to end up with a obviously a different ruler in charge, and that's going to give me problems. But that might be worth it if I can get all of that. So let's give that a go. Let's just uh, wait a minute. Let's do a bit of this while we're waiting. Uh, a pallid individual who looks as if she has spent her entire life skulking underground is lurking in the corner of my throne room I've heard tell that you might want a secret passage installed I can craft any uh, impure corridor your twisted heart desires um okay I shall enter and leave rooms only by the front door wench uh, a series of spying holes where, uh, where my courtiers gather please uh, I am a simple woman, a hidden escape passage will do, or a concealed torture room where I can get away with more. Let's see, so we are vengeful, impatient. Hmm. Maybe that's the one. Secretive. Yes, it's some money, but I think we do that. That seems to play to our traits, and we've now gained sadistic. So that's 
little bit of a scary twist perhaps, but there you go. Um, let's see, what has this banner given us? This has given us a little bit of prestige, a little bit of family renown, courtier and guest um, opinion. Uh, I'm thinking, what's that one give us? I'm thinking we could try swapping this out with one of the others, possibly that one. Yeah, we'll go with that. Okay, so we oh what's this? Hold court. Let's hold court then while we're while we're at it. Sitting on my throne, I gesture the guards open the doors of the hall, stream of people file in, some lining in front of my throne where others move out of the way so they can simply observe the proceedings. My lady, my sister Chamato Tam Ad Tamad ba yeah, okay, takes the floor. I have an idea to improve taxation. So it sounds like something would be very up my character's street. You could send surveyors to question your subjects about every property. Its name, its owner, uh, extension and value, and how many people and animals live there. I think anything that's going to improve tax is something my character would want to do. So, yep, let's do that. My impressive husband, um, him, bows before me, his, true, his trusty axe glinting at his side. I have served you faithfully, my liege. You know of my, my charge against Sheik Ag Agun of Ifni, yep, uh, amid the desert mountains of Nafis. But I am no longer young. I bid you invest me with my own lands in, in your high mencio. Other lords have been given more for far less. Okay, so. Uh, let's see. Well, we've not got a lot of land to give, to be fair. Uh, so what does this give? Is this the one that we've just gained? Chiefdom of... Which one is that? Maxarata. So that's not ours, is it? That's already his. Okay. Well. Okay. Well. <laughs> I get some tyranny for giving him his own lands. Um, sure, why not? Let's have a bit of tyranny. To help with uh, control, I'm sure. A uh, frightful peasant strolls all too close before a guard steps forward as, ooh, he backs off with a wink, laughing through scant teeth. Your ladiness, I, uh, I'm, I'm come here from Madeira with a, with a matter of greater, greater import. His eyebrows, uh, undulate. You see, um, high Menciata, uh, tall started last harvest. Sounds it's like it's like he's from Yorkshire. Um, Reeves' husband's what? Uh, Reeves' husband's goat wandered into into Farrier's niece's shack and caused a great mess. She did. He slaps his thigh. Ah, you should have seen you. Uh, see your mag seen your magnitude. Okay, great. Um, so, what can we do? Um, you don't say, please go on, so, common touch. I don't think she'd do that, because she's, as it says there, she's impatient. Um, let's see, steward. Go fix it, so again, disputed settlement. Um, I think, let's see. She's vengeful, she's sadistic, she's impatient. I think she'd snap at him. So I think we get a we get a, a court jester out of it. Um well the the commoners will not like it, but I think that's what we do. 
And that's that. So there's our court jester. Um, so, let's... Oh, ransom. There we go. Brilliant. We need a new marshal. So that can be... Ooh, missing a trick there. 23 marshal. So let's swap you out. What can you do? Nothing other than that, really. Let's swap you out. There we go, like that. And I think we go there. Let's start getting some of these lands under control a little bit more. Start with that one. Okay, so... Um, we'll call a hunt. That'll get us our prestige a little bit. Or should we just wait a minute? Ooh, we've got a pet cat. Excellent. Herd could be larger. She'd want more money. She'd want, yeah, she'd want things to be better. I think we just wait a second. Uh, it'll be uh, up to 750 in just a moment. Uh, it's done, my lady. States my new, uh, states my nephew. Um, as he blow, uh, bows in front of me. Uh, several months ago, you commissioned a survey of all your lands. Now it's completed, and the details on ownership and land value are all collected in this book. As long as this description is faithful to reality, your taxation will be more efficient throughout your realm. Excellent. So that gives us a little bit more taxes. Let's have a quick look at this while we're waiting. Let's get an alliance with him, because then there's no factions from him. Excellent. Court grandeur level decreased. Oh dear. Let's have a look at that in a second. So who are you, grandson? Anyone actually relevant? No, not really. So let's have a quick look at our court grandeur while we are waiting here. So we could possibly increase certain bits slightly, or can we not change them at the moment? Oh, we have a tribal government, so we can't go any higher than that. That's a shame. Okay, never mind. Right. Let's, uh, there we go, we're nearly there. Sway her so she has Okay. So that's it. That's our, our level. So what's this? Domestic distributes. Um, person in the room fuming like a pot at boil. Uh, okay. So this is that one we had before where. Okay. So unacceptable the way. Uh, such a fool. I think. Anyone who comes in shouting would probably incur her wrath because she's not very patient. She's not one of, not like, she's not a kind person. She's sadistic. So I think we go with that. Degraded the relationship with them. Whatever. Never mind. Right. Let's get this done. Let's subjugate him. Oh, hang on. He's got another alliance. That's going to cause us a problem. However, He's in the middle of a war. So, can we still do this? That is the question. We could potentially try and get the uh, edge on him by war, but I don't know if it'll be enough. I really don't. Let's have a quick look at his war there. So he's at war with... Uh, oh, it's the thing with the blooming fish again. Yeah, she'd want the best deal. Right. So. He's at war with them. Fairly even numbers of... So he's just the... Is he... It's this guy, isn't it? Yeah, so he's just the the ally being called in it's not actually his war hmm 
And where are his allies? We've got one which is literally right next to him, so that'll be problematic. That's the one that's at war as well, though. Is he the main? Yes, he is. So he'll not really be around to support him, I think. So I think now is the time. We might need to get in some, uh, we might get some uh, mercenaries. Let's try that. Let's see if we can get some now. What's all this? Uh, fine, whatever. Uh, degraded artifact on uh, an offer. Uh, Brushing with such a false contract ex expression. Already fear her next words. My lady, it's nothing to shame such a precious treasures as your small bell beaker. Life forgotten and abandoned to the dust. Please allow me to pay for its restoration in exchange for a small favour. Now, I don't really want to give anybody any favours and hooks. Um, I think that wouldn't be a good idea. So, um, let's have a quick look at mercenaries. Yeah, let's get that one. We've got enough money. That should give us all the troops we need, hopefully, fingers crossed, to subjugate him. So let's go for it. And let's see if we can see if we can win. Have we got any allies that we can call in? Um not really. Which is a bit of a shame. But that might be something we have to work on next time, trying to get some allies. So let's see if we can try and take apart his men a piece at a time, head in and uh, try and force a battle before he's got time to link up his soldiers together. Uh, we might not succeed though. Oh, we might do. I think we should just about do it. Excellent, there we go. Let's try and get the other one now. Brilliant. So things are going all right so far. Let's head back round and... Oh, thank you, Bittens. Right, let's head back round and take out more battles we can fight, reduce their numbers, the better chance we've got. Uh, need new marshal. Go with you. Okay. Excellent. Real. Carry on. Let's go and take on this. These troops up here. Ooh, that's going against us. Oh dear, they came in at last minute. Okay, so this could end badly for us. Um, spy master investigate, sure, why not? Hmm, well, I don't think we're going to have quite enough troops to pull off what we're wanting, even with our mercenaries. We might have bitten off a little more than we can chew. Can we get any allies um let's see reset to default go for alliance power there is no one this is rubbish hmm how about our daughter how old is she she's 42 so that's probably not going to help matters There's nobody want any alliances. That really, really sucks. So we might not manage this, but we shall try. We'll keep going until we have to give it up. Um, it just seems to have just slightly too many men for us, which is not good. Ooh, can we get just a cat? There we go. Don't want to give money away. Can we get this? This this will put us into debt slightly, but it'll give us slightly more men. So let's try that. That might just give us the edge we need. Millers for profits. While out in the luxury leisurely stroll, even the cry of a particular merchant stands out from the regular hustle and bustle of the streets. Greetings, my lady, of an exquisite assortment of wares. 
Um, so what would she do? Hmm. Um, should probably go with that one, I think. Failed to haggle. This is a shame, but never mind. It's going to just put us into more debt. But that is life. So let's see if we can... We've now got these men. Have we got enough to take them on? I don't think we do. No, that was a mistake. So I don't think we're going to win this war, which is a shame. But as I said, um, we will try until the bitter end. Let's try besieging down the capital. Maybe we'll get lucky. Um, Honour me with a visit. Well met. Uh, please me thriving here in Madeira. Uh, okay, so brought this fella. <coughs> okay, yeah, noticed the place for him. Uh, closer to forming a friendship. Yeah, real fine. We'll have you. You can come our problem. Right, so our mercenaries are going to go soon and we're going to get his butts kicked now. I think this war is done. Which is a shame. We'll just have to surrender and leave it like that. We're now in massive amount of debt and that's something we're going to have to pick up next time. That didn't end very well. But, sponge on a stick, I hate that. Um, but anyway, I think we will leave it today. We'll get our army back into home territory and we will leave the video there for today. We'll try and pick up from this mess next time. We bit off more than we could chew, but we'll deal with that as we go. So for now, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Like, comment and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.